what is going on everybody it is ebony here with another video and today i'm going to be giving myself a full spa treatment that means i'm going to be doing a detox i'm going to be doing a steaming treatment i'm going to retwist my hair i'm gonna sit on the dryer for a little bit and i'm gonna oil my scalp very very well because i need it i need it i need it i need it I went camping like twice. I think since the last time I washed my hair. No, I went camping at another time, only once since I washed my hair last, but I just really need a reset. But anyway, I say all that to say, y'all definitely wanna stick around for this video. Um, if this is your first time with me, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, and if you've been here before, welcome, welcome, welcome back. And I hope you brought a friend. Let's see what else. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. You can do that now or at the end of the video. But whenever you do it, just make sure you do it. And honestly, I need to get started because it's already 9 o'clock. And it's going to take me a while to do this. So let's just hop right in. So let me just start off by saying yes, yes, yes. This clip is the same clip from my video you saw last week um, of when I did my full detox. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that means you need to click on the link down below in the description box. I did another ACV um, detox, like a full out video, and just decided to make two videos in one to show you the actual process and how long it actually took me to do this detox. Um, like I mentioned before, this detox went way better than the very first time I did one when I did not know what I was doing, but it was definitely needed as you saw and will see. It's so hard to do this by yourself, y'all. Get a friend. This water is muddy as hell. Alrighty, so now you know I gotta wash out all that apple cider vinegar and baking soda. And right now, my first wash, I used the Dr. Bronner's, and then I'm gonna go in with the second wash, and that's when I used my, um, I think it's called Dr. Teal's, the Biotin Shampoo. My hair was extra soapy. Y'all, soap was getting everywhere, but it's cool because I needed it, I needed it, I needed it. Okay, y'all. Here we have the aloe vera. I literally went and got this leaf the day before I did my hair. Um, I got it from Walmart. It was like, it was either $1.48 or $2.38. Now, if you have not used fresh aloe vera in your hair or in general, it has a musty smell. So do not be alarmed. It is not you. Trust me, it is not you. It is the aloe vera plant itself. So right now I just, I cut it up my aloe vera to sections and now I'm just scraping it to make the, essentially the gel ooze. And I'm going to rub this all over my scalp and my hair. Y'all, 
It is very slimy, so if you're a texture person, just be aware of that. Steam treatment time. Now, as y'all know, I have done a steaming video. I did not use hibiscus in this steam treatment though. I literally just did distilled water. I put rosemary essential oil and tea tree. Okay, so it's been about two hours and I haven't even started retwisting my head. But let's just do a little recap of what's already happened. I have detoxed my hair. I did like two rounds of that. I then um, washed my hair. After I washed my hair, I proceeded to cut up some aloe vera, rub it on my scalp, and do a steam treatment. After I did my steam treatment, I rinsed my hair, and here I am now. So now we are about to retwist and I hope it doesn't take me longer than an hour, but you know me and you know how that can be sometimes, so it probably will. So, stick tight, stay tight, stay tight, stick tight, whatever I just said, don't go nowhere. We're about to zoom through this and we're about to see how luscious my hair looks. All right, cute. Um, just for you guys' essay, it's been about a good four to five weeks um, since my last retwist. The last time I washed my hair, I did not retwist just because I didn't feel like it and I didn't think I needed one at that time. So yeah, it's been about four or five weeks. I feel like that's a great amount of new growth. What y'all think? Oh, and I've decided to do braids this time just because um, I typically do, you know, I typically do my two shirt and twists, even though I haven't done those in a while. But I was running out of rubber bands, too, and I was just like, hmm, if I do braids, I need less rubber bands. So, Chico. most time this is literally my favorite step of doing my hair because i know it's final something about mousse just makes me feel good it takes me back to i think childhood days and i just know it's just gonna be extra crispy once i take my head wrap off Now, I hate sitting under the dryer. I typically let my hair air dry, but I was like, you know what? Let's go all the way. Let's sit on this dryer and let's get it done. And y'all, I was hungry, so I needed my spaghetti. But here we have the final look. Look at them braids. And no, I did not fold under my ends. You can do that for a neater look. But anyway, I love how my hair turned out. I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, yeah. Thanks for doing Spotty with me. All right. Peace.